Hey YouTube, welcome back to Elude Racing. So in this episode, we're going to be uh, pulling off this front bumper, and uh, we're going to be pulling off this grill. Um, if you have not watched any of my other videos, and you're seeing this for the first time, you might want to check out my channel and look at the previous videos that I've posted on this car, and you can see how we got to this point. Um, without getting too far into it basically I'm restoring this car and I'm in the disassembly process and I'm prepping this car for paint so uh, in in this episode we are going to be like I just said we're gonna be pulling off this front bumper and we're gonna be pulling off the grill now you can uh, you can pull these grills off without pulling the bumper uh, it's a lot more involved it's a little bit harder uh, you gotta pull more stuff off to get at it so we're gonna do it a little bit easier way I'm just gonna do a little recap on how we got to where we are right now. Um, as you can see, the bumper fillers have, are, are off. The remainder of the bumper fillers have been removed. They were all broken up, dry rotted, like they all do. Um, so the, the bumper fillers are off. We also have the front turn signals off on both sides. Um, you also are gonna have to, prior to dropping this bumper, you've got two harnesses, or a harness on each side that you've gotta deal with. And I'm going to show you real quick your turn signal harness, which is right there. You got the two plugs right here. Is actually there is an attachment. This part of the harness is attached. You got a mounting point right here, and this just kind of snaps in there. You got to prop that off on that side, and it's going to be a rinse and repeat on the driver's side as well. So when you're going to pull this bumper you need to make sure that you you disconnect those harnesses now after you pull the harnesses you're gonna have to go down underneath and on the Grand Nationals and the Turbo Regals you have two air dams or lower ground effect whichever you want to call it one on the left one on the right passenger driver side and what that is intended to do is it diverts the air to the center of the car so it will get into the supercharger or supercharger into the intercooler and uh, that's just it's a their air dams and that's what those purposes are for but you need to unbolt those in order to drop the bumper you're gonna have I believe it's um, four three bolts in the front two on the side so I'm pretty sure you have a total of five bolts that you need to remove to drop those air dams off and uh, you're gonna want to be careful with those um, they do make a uh, reproduction of those. They're not as good as the factory ones. They're a harder plastic. And uh, original ones are pretty expensive. You're looking at about $300 for a good set. Um, you can find used ones that are cheaper than that. But if you want to buy a, a new set, if you can find them, you're going to pay $300 or more for those. So be careful when you're pulling off all this old stuff because once you break it it's gone forever and uh, this stuff is getting harder and harder to come by every year and it's going up in price like you wouldn't believe um, Regals and Grand Nationals are making a really big comeback they're pulling big money and uh, parts are the prices of parts are showing that because stuff that used to be cheap a couple years ago five ten years ago is now tripled and quadrupled in price so just be careful when you're disassembling your car and you're working on it because it's it's not like a current production car where you can just go down to a junkyard and uh, grab a new lens or whatever or go to AutoZone or Pet Boys or whatever you, you're not going to find one of these cars in a junkyard at least not around here in Michigan so just be mindful of that when you do that so um, after you've gotten the turn signals off the, the air dams off and uh, the harnesses you're, you're next going to notice that on once the your bumper fillers are off if you look down here you're going to see on each side of your your grill you have a spring it's a tensor spring that keeps the grill pulled forward you got to pop those springs off it's just a matter of pulling the spring and letting it drop down not a big deal I'm, I'm going to leave it on the bumper and then you're going to do that on both sides uh, that way when this drops down you don't want those that spring staying on there and yanking on this this grill and cracking it uh, So once you get that taken care of 
the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get at those four bolts right there two on the left two on the right you have those on both sides obviously so a total of eight bolts um, the size of those are a 13 millimeter and what I did was I went ahead and I cracked all eight loose and then I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pop pop the four off on this side just to show you how easy it is I'm using my my cordless uh, ratchet and uh, I makes real quick work on this so now one thing you might want to do is um, if you're taking this off and you're going to be doing any body work or you're going to be doing any painting or anything like that like on these front supports I'm going to clean this all up and I'm going to paint it obviously uh, once I get this bumper off I'm going to get something to scribe some type of line you need to make a point of reference on how this bumper was so that way when you put it back on you can get it roughly the alignment back where it needs to be before you lock it down because what you don't want to do is you don't want to paint it lose um, lose your adjustments and then try to fight and put stuff back together with when it's all repainted and then scratch stuff up so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of scribe a line and then that way I'll have like a, a point of reference on each side of where it needs to be um, when I go to reassemble a, this so just just another tip okay, go ahead and get your uh, your four bolts off now if you're working with someone um, as you're taking these off just have your have your assistant or whatever you want to call them buddy hold the bumper what I'm going to do is I'm going to take three off and the fourth one I'm going to take almost all the way off just leave it with on just a couple threads because what I don't want to do is go over to the other side and have this bumper this bumper come crashing down so I'm going to get this bottom one off um, also when you're getting to these and you're trying to get these off if you can see this um, deflector right here that's held on right here through these two holes and it's zip tied to this front this front support you're gonna have to cut that zip tie off in order to get access to these inner two uh, nuts Keep track of all your hardware. You're going to want to reuse it. You're not going to, going to be having to uh, trace, track down new stuff unless it's rusty and damaged. Right, so I've got that pretty much just finger tight. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to this other side. All right, so we got the other side all loose. Um, I've got one knot loose on this side and uh, one left on this side. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of get myself in the center. Like I said, if you've got somebody helping you, this is really easy. One guy gets one side, one guy gets the other. You undo that last knot and then you just take it right off. So yeah, like I was saying, you're going to have to get yourself in the middle. Um, I'm going to kind of support it with one hand. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to mount this camera a little bit different. All right, so I'm going to kind of hold it in the middle. I'm going to take the right nut off, and then I'll reach over and I'll take the left nut off.
so there you go you got your bumper off i um, got a little bit of weight to it probably i don't know 60 pounds definitely manageable with one person um but two would definitely make it a lot easier um now once we now that we've got this off uh we can move on to the grill and now this is where i was going to say if you're ever doing anything with your grill or anything like that you can take this grill off without pulling the bumper off obviously what you got to do is you've got this this guard right here which is kind of a, same thing it's kind of a it separates the top and the bottom helps get air into the the radiator and stuff like that but it also prevent, uh, protects stuff from popping up underneath and going up and hitting it so because this right here is sitting up on the bottom lip of the front bumper um, so yeah if you were to drop this off it's held on by 10 millimeter bolts uh, along the back side on the core support you can drop this down and then you would be able to get way up underneath there and get at the there's either two or four nuts that hold this grill on up top and uh, you're gonna have to access those with a you know reach up there with a wrench uh, or a socket or whatever it might be but um we're gonna get I'm gonna pull this off and then uh, we'll get up underneath there and then I'm gonna show you how to get this grill off the rest of the way all right so as you can see we've got this uh, bottom I, I was calling it a deflector or whatever but it's essentially it's a splash shield and as to prevent water and stuff from splashing up here but uh once you act, pull the splash shield off the bottom uh, you can clearly get access to the three bolts that hold this grill on um, you've got one there one kind in the middle and then one down there now these are 10 millimeter and uh, they shouldn't be that tight because it's holding plastic but uh, you're going to want to be careful when you're taking them off you don't want to crack anything Now, you're going to want to make sure that you don't flex this too much because this is kind of a, this is plastic and metal both and uh, if you go prying outward to get access or get your arm up in there, you could potentially crack off this grill at the top. So just uh, be careful, take your time. Uh, you might want to, if your car's been sitting or dirty or whatever like mine I would get an air hose and kind of blow up in there so when you're doing this you're not getting a bunch of uh, dirt or whatever in your face now you're going to want to support this grill because it's it's has nothing else holding it on so I've got my hand that I'm holding the camera with and I'm holding the grill at the same time Got the grill off. Real easy. So I think we're going to call it for here for now. And um, just a recap we pulled off the front bumper and the front grill. Now, next, what we're going to be doing is uh, I think before I jump onto the back, I'm just going to stay focused on this front end and I'm going to do a quick cleanup of this. And uh, I just want to clean all this up and then I'm going to put the the new bumper fillers on and then we have to put the bumper back on because the bumper like I said before the bumper is going to be getting painted with the car it's going to be paint matched to the car it's not going to be a satin it's going to be a gloss black so I want that back on there so that way when it goes to paint everything that's getting painted is on the car um, the grill is not going to go back on the car, obviously, because we don't want that painted. 
Once I get the front end all back together, then we'll jump on the back, we'll pull off the back bumper. Uh, the back bumper is going to go a lot faster simply because there's just not a whole lot going on on the back bumper. We don't have turn signals, we don't have a grill. There's just a, not as much attached to the back bumper as the front. So the back bumper is a much simpler removal and installation and um, will go a lot faster than this front end. So yeah, this is a, uh, just to recap, this was a bumper removal and grill. And uh, like I said, I've said so many times in the past, please like and subscribe and uh, keep checking back, turn on your notifications because I'm gonna be moving really, really quick. I wanna get this car to paint uh, in the next couple days here. So I'm gonna be posting videos for the next couple days uh, as I progress on this and get this ready to go to the paint. So, uh, Happy New Year, and uh, see you soon. Take care.